Hello, my name is Jeanette and I am the knitwear designer behind Zanette Knits. Welcome to my weekly PPP, which stands for Progress, Plans and Problems. And um, again, the previous one was actually two weeks ago. There's quite a lot to share and I'll start with the latest release, uh, which was the uh, Yoke Meditation Series 3 uh, around yoke sweater. Uh, inspired by uh, Buddhist mandalas and it's uh, still on the intro discount uh, so check that out on our Ravelry or our website. Um, it's a sport weight project and I thank very much to everybody for the warm welcome of this pattern. Uh, it's been uh, wonderful to see and showcase all the tester versions uh, for your inspiration. And uh, the next thing that's happened since then is, as promised, the Texo sweater test started yesterday. So in our Slack channel, people are frantically uh, swatching and trying to figure out what yarn to use. Um, I was exactly at the same place two weeks ago. <laughs> I was missing a sleeve and that's still the case, but it's it hasn't stopped me from starting. Oh no, I lie. I actually finished the back. Uh, two weeks ago we didn't have a back, um, but now we have a back and still a missing sleeve. I'm still uh, yet to do the sleeve and I will do and I'll film how I um, made this uh, ridge here as well when I film the next, uh, when I make the, the sleeve. Uh, so that's in my plans at some point. But yeah, test has already started. I'm very happy to see the group of knitters who are excited to give this a go and there'll probably be a lot more progress to share in the coming weeks uh, as we just started yesterday. And now on my own uh, works in progress. So um, a last time, um, I think if you remember, uh, or if not, if this is your first time uh, watching this series of uh, videos, I had just cast on the yoke meditation series four for for which uh, for this is a swatch for that sweater um, and I had just cast on I was about to start the color work and I have done quite a lot on that so let me return to my tradition uh, uh, of wearing my works in progress. So here we are. It's a top-down raglan. I am very close to separating uh, the sleeves and body. Uh, I think about four rounds short um, of that. And I was really enjoying this. I especially love um, how the colors are changing. They're taking a long time. So each color has a, a substantial section here. Again, this is my hand spun three ply from three different wools. There's BFL, there's Merino, there's Polworth, and from three different uh, dyers as well. Um, I'll share the details in, in the description. Um, and yeah, it's, it, it's sometimes quite frustrating that they're not changing um, faster because every time that I can see there's like a bit of orange peeking through now. Uh, again, it started with an orange, then some red, and then purples, and it just, yeah. But uh, but but overall, I love that they're actually quite chunky sections of color, and yeah. Um, the next part is for me to inverse the main color and the contrast color. So uh, now the same pattern will be upside down, and the the light. Uh, will be the contrast color and the, the the gradient one will be the main color and it will turn into a darker and moodier bottom half of the garment. So I think I would have been quite far along in the body or the sleeve already with this um, if I hadn't realized that I had messed up uh, my order of knitting projects quite significantly and I was due to urgently start another uh, project so that it can get tested and released in time uh, for the agreed um, release date uh, which is the Unravel Festival um, in February here in the UK um, because it's a collaboration um, with 
with a yarn company that I have already collaborated before. Together we created the Met Tennis Pullover and that is wool decanted and I love their story and their origins and the fact that they work with very cool um, uh, British breeds and they experiment with the kinds of yarns they can create. So I immediately, upon realizing that I've, I've messed up, I put the raglan um, on hold and uh, designed and cast on this sweater, uh, which is a DK weight um, round yoke cardigan slash pullover uh, sweater. Um, uh, continuing the floral uh, theme um, based on the popularity of uh, our fire lily design which is currently in testing and due to be released in December so this is the next one um, I already think I know the name of this but we do have a giveaway going on in Instagram on Facebook so if you check our yesterday's post and want to participate we are asking you to uh, suggest a name so that's the giveaway way is not uh, on YouTube uh, it's just on Instagram against the specific post so if you head on to Instagram or our Facebook page and locate the post of from the 13th of November uh, with this yoke uh, in, in the photo uh, you can uh, contribute um, with a chance to win the pattern on the release date by entering the association that this yoke gives you. Uh, and here is the sneak peek of the full chart of how it will develop. Um, and again, this is a deep running stranded color work. And because there's some long floats here, I'm using the ladder back jacquard method for catching floats which makes the wrong side look like this and it's a really cool method to catch the floats invisibly and let you paint with yarn um, again it will be a color work uh, sorry it will be a cardigan as well as pullover uh, in one and i will decide what kind of neck band and the button band i will want once i've done the, the sleeves and the body. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. I've got a few ideas in mind. Uh, I wanted a double knit button band with really uh, sleek um, vertical buttonholes. But um, this yarn is really light, really fluffy, puffy, uh, real wool, woolly yarn. Um, it's not rough or anything. It's really soft actually. It's really nice, nice uh, touch. Um, I mean, I, I love it. I can wear it close to the neck. Um, it is the Wool Decanted Vintage 23. Um, and, uh, but I think for a double knit button band, it might be too thick. It's already quite thick uh, in the color work, but that's expected, right? So yeah, I'll, 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 I'll try a few things and see what I like and what I don't like when I get there. But for now, I'm like 10 rounds away from separating from sleeves and I'm really, really rushing to get it done because I think the test call has to happen at the end of this month or else there won't be enough time to test and make the pattern ready for release in February. So yeah, watch this space for when, uh, when name to be announced <laughs> later. Uh, due to the giveaway uh, rules, but yeah, it's it's in progress and it's why the Yoga Meditation Series for Raglan um, was put on hold. Um, and yeah, so that's that's my plan is to frantically finish this and write up the pattern so that we can start testing it. Um, other than that, I have a couple of um, plans after I finish this and the raglan, um, which I can't really decide. So maybe you can drop, drop, drop your thoughts in the comments. So I was considering resurrecting one of my last year's projects. That's been literally, I couldn't fit all the yarn in a project bag. I have a box that I was taking with me to the living room or wherever I was, I was working on it because it's called the flashback sweater and it's using 
all the leftovers that I um, have accumulated over the years of designing sweaters. And it's, um, it's not stranded color work uh, and it's not intarsia either. It's something completely different because these things here are actual holes. You know, you can see my fingers. I'm literally knitting fragments back and forth uh, separately and then joining them in the round in some weird way so but it has the effect of some sort of weird mo mosaic bricks um, and I, I what's left for me to do here is just straight up stocking it for body and sleeves because everything else is done but because it's such a such a non-traditional way of knitting I'm a little bit overwhelmed that I won't be able to explain how to do this um, and that I'll struggle with the pattern. But my testers always save me and ex uh, suggest ways to, to describe things simpler. So I don't know what, what I'm worried about. The other worry is that it's just stuck in it and I might get bored really quickly and um, yeah, not, not, a, not get it over the line. Um, and start casting on new things. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I'd like to hear. Would you be interested in the kind of sweater that uh, is a real stash buster because you can combine uh, leftover yarns in whatever ways you want? Or I have also been uh, really wanting to cast on a new sweater for my husband um, which is a men's sweater uh, because I bought this yarn for him uh, exactly a year ago uh, in Barcelona uh, from Ushitita. Uh, I, don't, I hope my, my camera is not mirroring it. Um, and I've been wanting to, to, to figure out the design and cast it on since. But all these color work projects and these cable projects uh, just uh, take, take precedence. I know he's not going to want any cables or any color work or any crazy textures. So it's going to have to be plain and simple. But I'm still looking for that, that extra detail that I can add to also make it engaging and interesting for, for me to knit. So yeah, that's the challenge uh, here and I hope to get started on that soon. So it's between this one and this one right now. I'm not sure which one to pick first. Um, but I also know that if I don't get started on finishing this, it might never happen. And maybe that's okay. Maybe it's just a big swatch that never sees the day, light of day. But let me know if you'd be interested in knitting something like that. Maybe that'll just give me the motivation to, to get a pattern out of it. Um, in terms of other things that I can share, um, yeah, there isn't much really. Um, oh, I, uh, my husband and I had a deal that uh, on the weekends, um, I don't knit the projects uh, that are part of my knitwear design um, and that I knit things for, for family um, because I need to relax and uh, yeah on the weekend we shouldn't be working uh, so I cast on uh, a quick hat for him and uh, this is where I'm at right now <laughs> uh, it's, it's going very slow because I'm being cheeky and um, because I'm really in trouble with that um, wool decanted collaboration sweater I've been uh, cheating and I've been knitting on the weekends. Not too much, but yeah, still. Uh, so, so this is very slow progress, but maybe I'll finish it by next time we talk. Um, and uh, yeah, the Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend is coming up and I think we'll be doing some uh, crazy deals uh, on that weekend as well. So if you are a newsletter subscriber, be prepared. Uh, if not, and you're interested, uh, just check out the description of this video. There will be a link to where you can become one. And uh, I think that is probably it for this week's update. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.